Oh, oh, worst food I've ever had. Oh, so much. We've recently seen the release of some great new menu items. However, with the good, inevitably comes the bad. Here are the 10 worst fast food items of 2023. Warm beer and the worst food you ever ate. Burger King's Spicy Melt. Spicy. When you've been around as long as Burger King has, you'll occasionally want to tweak your menu. Over the years, the burger chain has added a list of successful items to their classic menu, from the sandwich to various versions of the Whopper. And by and large, fans are pleased, to say the least. Unfortunately, in 2023, BK launched the Spicy Melt, and customers were less than impressed. The new Melt line started life as specialty Whopper melts, but soon became known simply as Melts. What's a Melt? Well, if you can picture a grilled cheese burger, then you have an idea of what the BK Melt essentially is. Now, enough with the stalling. On to the spicy melt. The spicy one features two beef patties, jalapenos, caramelized onions, spicy sauce, and, of course, cheese. The problem lies with the spiciness of the melt sauce, as it isn't very spicy at all. Another issue with the spicy sauce is its texture, which has been described as slimy by some customers. Just a guess, but the new BK moderately spiced slimy melt probably doesn't have the same ring to it. The caramelized onions also pose an issue, as they tend to be more charred than caramelized. This, when mixed with the bland, heatless sauce, makes for an overall unpleasant experience. Fortunately for BK, the spicy melt is only a limited time item. For limited time only. McDonald's Bacon Ranch McCrispy Sandwich. When looking at anything on the McDonald's menu, you could easily think that the burger chain never misses when it comes to tasty new items. New menu item. <gasps> Oh, I'm getting that. This is, of course, not true, as McDonald's has shown its customers and the world that it can fail with the best of them. But the franchise does have more wins than losses on its food record. However, 2023 wasn't the best year for McDonald's due to an unwelcomed addition to the menu, the Bacon Ranch McCrispy Sandwich. The BRMS features bacon, ranch dressing, and pickles, but the McCrispy is anything but crispy. Beyond the lack of crispiness, the chicken sandwich which's texture has been called chewy and somewhat unpleasant by customers. And the ranch dressing, which coats both the top and bottom buns, lacks flavor. While McDonald's history with chicken sandwiches has been rather good, the new breed of chicken sandwiches being offered up by the likes of Chick-fil-A has set the bar much higher. Perhaps McDonald's shouldn't be so eager to head to the drawing board to come up with new ways to improve the chicken sandwich and maybe just continue to focus on what they already do best. I went back to the drawing board, literally. Papa John's Oreo Cookie Papa Bites. Those are Oreos. While the idea of a gooey, sweet Oreo bite just dripping with melted cream cheese frosting might seem as delicious as Papa John's famous pizzas, things aren't always what they seem. Papa John's contribution to dessert, the Oreo Cookie Papa Bites, first debuted on the PJ's menu back in December of 2022 and were rather underwhelming. Essentially a mini dessert pizza, Oreo Papa Bites uses the same dough as the pizzeria's famous pizza, which is a bit of a problem since the pizza dough is a bit too chewy for a dessert. Ooh, mm. Another issue is the overall lack of Oreo morsels, with an uneven distribution of the tasty chocolate bits sprinkled and stuffed within the bites. Unfortunately, the bites taste more like sweetly flavored breadsticks than anything else. The Oreo cookie bites are ultimately saved by the cream cheese dipping frosting, which is almost absolutely necessary to eat this sweet treat. Dessert can often be the most anticipated part of the whole meal experience, but in this case, diners may find themselves waiting to see if 2024 will yield something a little more appetizing from Papa John's. New to Babbletop? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Thanks. It's not a private school, it's free. Oh, that's fine then. Domino's Loaded Tots. Read the tots. 
Domino's has been one of the most dominant pizza chains for years now. The chain has been serving up both its signature pizzas and the occasional specialty item to happy customers with much success. With that said, who doesn't enjoy a good tater tot? The small bundle of potato goodness fills most with memories of the school cafeteria and is generally a tasty little reminder of the good old days. So the idea of the pizza giant giving its customers their version of the tater tot is something fans were more than happy to embrace. However, the pizza chain has had its share of fumbles in the past, and in 2023, it was their loaded tots that failed to make a major impact. Available in Melty Three Cheese, Philly Cheese Steak, and Cheddar Bacon, the loaded tots are not exactly eye-catching, appearing dry and overcooked. Aside from their lackluster appearance, the tots are rather bland, despite the loaded moniker, and the in-mouth experience has been described as odd. While the loaded tots are by no means unpalatable, Domino's attempt to revolutionize the tater tot didn't really pan out the way the franchise likely hoped. The guy is doing a tremendous job not working. Sweet Greens Chicken and Chipotle Pepper Bowl when it comes to healthy choices when deciding to dine out, the options are often pretty slim. Granted, most fast food franchises offer a variety of healthy and healthy-ish options, but when it comes to truly wishing to dine clean, fast food falls flat. So it's a breath of fresh air for those keeping an eye on their hearts and waistlines that a restaurant such as Sweet Green is here. The San Francisco Health Food Restaurant offers a host of healthy food for the health conscious. However, Sweet Green's latest creation inadvertently made an enemy of a popular Mexican-themed restaurant in 2023. Sweet Greens launched their Chicken and Chipotle Pepper Bowl this past April, and it caught the attention of many people, including Mexican food chain Chipotle. The Mexican food chain wasn't at all happy with the choice of names Sweet Green chose for its latest product. So much so that Chipotle accused Sweet Green of using its name and trademark to promote their new item and threatened to take legal action. Suffice it to say, Sweet Green acquiesced and changed the name, placing the word chicken in front of Chipotle so there would be no confusion that the product is in any way affiliated with the Mexican food chain. They're totally different. Starbucks Oleato Coffee Drinks when it comes to innovative coffee ideas and infusions, many of us will think of classics such as the mochaccino or new and exciting ideas such as the Good Sort Cafe's Rainbow Latte with all its non-traditional ingredients. Whatever the case may be, it's almost an absolute certainty that when it comes to coffee ingredients, no one ever thinks to themselves, hmm, you know what this coffee's missing? A little olive oil. Well, seemingly, Starbucks didn't get that memo because in 2023, the mega coffee chain stated that olive oil-infused coffee was the future. The Starbucks Oleato line of drinks debuted in March, and the backlash from customers was almost immediate. Many flat-out refused to sample an olive oil-infused beverage, while the brave folks who did sample the product were not keen on the coffee. One of the biggest issues with the Oleato was an unforeseen side effect, causing customers who tried the drink to sprint to the closest restroom. This side effect is due to olive oil having certain laxative properties. We all know oil and water don't mix, and maybe add coffee to the list as well. Guess they mixed them up, huh? <laughs> Dunkin's Breakfast Tacos. That's a taco job. It's a taco That's job, a taco. you're right. <laughs> Most people nowadays are in too much of a rush to worry about sitting down and enjoying a nice home-cooked breakfast. Luckily, we have fast food joints such as McDonald's and others that cater to the hungry morning commuter. Dunkin' has been serving up much more than piping hot cups of coffee and donuts for years with its breakfast menu. Whether a breakfast sandwich is what you're after or a simple bagel, there's more than enough variety for a commuter looking for a quick bite. However, in 2023, Dunkin' decided to add a new item to its breakfast menu, and the result was less than stellar. Less than you'd think. Dunkin's breakfast taco, while enjoyed by some, seemed to fall flat with most customers. Many who sampled the breakfast taco claimed that the item was just plain bland. And in one case, a customer even shared a picture on Reddit of their taco, which lacked filling. While most people who stop in at their local Dunkin' are likely not expecting a five-star dining experience, customers still felt they deserved better than this uninspired breakfast taco. The breakfast taco, when done right, has always been a popular dish, but it seems the donut chain simply dropped the ball here. Yeah, someone really dropped the ball here. 
Chick-fil-A's cauliflower sandwich. Oh, I always hated cauliflower. Look, we get it. Everyone's searching for ways to eat more on the healthy side without sacrificing both fun and taste, right? Not an easy task by any means. However, there are fast food franchises out there putting their best culinary foot forward to bring healthier fast food alternatives to their loyal customers. And it's a really healthy alternative. Chick-fil-A just so happens to be one of those franchises that launched a healthier version of their most famous product in the cauliflower sandwich. Replacing the fried chicken breast with cauliflower, the cauliflower sandwich is then pressure cooked in peanut oil and topped with the standard sandwich fixings. While the idea was at least admirable, the sandwich was not without its critics. Unfortunately, this innovative sandwich caused some of Chick-fil-A's customers to accuse the franchise of straying from its core appeal. However, Chick-fil-A did defend the sandwich from the critical tirade, stating that most customers responded positively to the sandwich and provided feedback asking for more variety, such as vegetables, on the menu. Even with cauliflower being a popular ingredient for substitutions when preparing healthier, more keto-friendly food, perhaps Chick-fil-A will choose a different vegetable in their next food venture. Vegetables? <laughs> McDonald's Cardi B and Offset Meal Was that Cardi B? Okay, on one side, we have the power couple of Cardi B and Offset, two of the biggest hip-hop artists in the world today. On the other, we have McDonald's, the biggest fast food franchise of all time. So it makes perfect sense that the mega chain and the mega couple would come together for a mega collaboration. McDonald's launched the Cardi B and Offset meal on Valentine's Day of 2023. The meal consisted of a cheeseburger, barbecue sauce, and a large Coke, which happens to be Cardi's favorite. The other part of the meal features a quarter pounder with cheese and a large high C orange lava burst, which is Offset's go-to. Cardi B, please bless this flesh. The meal comes complete with large fries and an apple pie. Unfortunately for McDonald's, this collaboration didn't come without a bit of controversy. Many McDonald's franchisees were not happy about the collaboration due to the married couple's explicit and profane song lyrics. Some structure and responsibility, not Cardi B lyrics. McDonald's did, however, defend the collaboration, stating that the negative reaction to the collaboration was only coming from a few franchisees, and the hip-hop couple had been working very well with the burger chain. Aside from the controversy, some McD's fans complained that there was nothing about the celebrity meal that really stood out. Papa John's New Crispy Parm Pizza Most would tend to agree that Papa John's various pizzas and other assorted items are a surefire hit, and the years, minus a few controversial speed bumps, have been excellent for the franchise. Unfortunately, 2023 hasn't been the best year for Papa John's, and the unveiling of new menu items didn't pack a big enough punch. Now, there's no shortage of innovative goodness popping out of the culinary minds over at Papa John's headquarters, but the ideas have been rather hit or miss this year. Ideas such as PJ's Crispy Parm Pizza. At first glance, the pizza appears pretty standard. It's only after lifting a slice that the pizza reveals its secret. The thin crust pizza comes with shredded Parmesan cheese resting on the very bottom of the pizza, forming a crispy parm undercarriage for the pizza. Despite the innovation of having cheese on the bottom, the pizza can be underwhelming. The biggest issue with the pizza is how much saltier the crispy parm is compared to other pizzas due to the Parmesan bottom. Another issue lies with the Parmesan crust, as the presence of the cheese underneath the pizza can lead to the Parmesan layer being slightly burnt in some cases. Of course, this issue is less of a worry and doesn't seem to occur that often. If you're hoping for a mind-blowing experience with the new crispy parm, then this is isn't the pizza you've been looking for. It's not pizza. Stick around for another great video. Just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.